Hello everybody, Nourish Founder Chris here speaking to you today about heat pasteurization. You see, heat kills. Heat kills the enzymes of fruits and vegetables. You have to understand this because any juice that's in a bottle that's sold on store shelves or distributed through independent distributor networks has been heat pasteurized. You have to understand that. Fruits and vegetables, in fact, vegetation, it burns. But fruits and vegetables will die at 117 degrees for more than three minutes. You've heard about this when you're cooking your fruits and your vegetables. Don't cook them too long because you start killing the enzymes. Well, the same thing happens with bottling juices. Heat pasteurization usually starts at about 180 degrees, well over the 117 degree kill point. Flash pasteurization is 400 degrees for anywhere from 6 to 30 seconds. A lot of the juice concentrates that are included in um, these juices have also been heat treated to evaporate the water from the juice before it's bottled. Let's talk about powders. You've heard of freeze drying. Sounds good, sounds cold. Some companies will even use the term flash drying to state that uh, their process is better than any of the other processes when flash drying is actually the same thing as freeze drying. You flash freeze a block of puree, you put that block of puree in a vacuum chamber and you hit it with 135 degrees of infrared heat for a period of up to three days, 72 hours. So do the math. 117 is the kill point after three minutes. Do you think three days at 135 degrees is going to kill off some enzymes? I really think it is. Then there's, uh, let's see, there's drum drying. That's where the product goes in a drum. The drum spins, usually 160 degrees for a number of hours. And then we have spray drying, which is a much higher heat and more violent. And then you have the InstaFresh process, where we're able to take live whole foods, fresh juice, juice at our InstaFresh facility that's converted into a powder, a live whole food powder, at a temperature below 100 degrees in a period of time of about 30 seconds. So this is just a reminder today. Uh, I don't believe in using any subliminal messages, of course, as I talk about heat and the fact that heat kills fruits and vegetables. Anyway, you get the point. Hey, thanks, and uh, we'll see you again.